Hello everyone, it's James again, and it's Mirage again. This time we are concentrating, it's a very short video, and we're concentrating on uh, this area, the palace area of A. Now something I saw recently was somebody was holding a Molotov or an incendiary grenade on the ladder like this, and they were just waiting to peek someone so they could throw the molly. Now the problem with this is if you're just, if you're waiting for someone to show up, they're going to show up and they're going to shoot you in the face and then you're going to be dead and even if you somehow manage to throw your molly you're going to get wall banged and even if you don't even if you've managed to avoid those two situations you throw the molotov they're already going to be in a position to push because if they're, if they're peaking this angle then it may be that they're ready to push anyway so by, the, by that time it's far too late but the main thing is it's like it's very unsafe compared to the other options you have now Bondic, player for Flipside, he plays in the shadow area and normally you'll see him stand here and basically just aim at the middle of this log to throw a smoke grenade into the uh, the palace itself. Same same idea applies to a Molotov, you can take a step and just bounce it off that wood and you can see you have successfully Molotov the palace without exposing yourself as that previous player did in this area. Same thing applies with um, flashes. Often you might have a, a teammate kind of over here somewhere who wants, who will throw a pot flash in for you if you're going to stand here and then peek. But um, if for whatever reason you don't have a player here, say there are two of you here, let's say you've identified that there are players down there and you are in a position where you don't want to have to face people here and here, <coughs> excuse me, at the same time. So you choose to push the palace area so you've got control of this if you need it for retakes, etc., or just ang safer angles with some of your body covered against the players, then what you can do is, for example, if you have somebody in the shadow area, he, you can he, this guy can throw a, a pop flash for his teammate. Again, you want to take one step when you throw this, aim a bit higher on this piece of wood, and you can see that is a pretty much a pixel perfect pop flash. Maybe. He wants it to be a little bit further out. But you can see the arc it takes and the fact that if you have someone standing here, <clears throat> they're not going to block the nade. So the nade comes in and boom, they can peek straight away. Same idea applies here. This one you can, um, from up here, you can use it as a pop flash for yourself. Problem is, it's quite a few steps from here. Step, 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 step. And that's going to be a bit of a giveaway as to what you might be doing. But again, if, if the nades are coming in and you find yourself in this position, then you can, well, obviously you can throw a flash there as a counter flash. That though gives your position away somewhat, but you can also do it into the apps here. Again, just a little step. And you've pop flashed a bit further. There we go. And you've got yourself a counter flash there. So if there's a two pronged assault going on, you may slow down the advance here, give your teammates a bit of time, allow them to position to defend here. So, yeah, that's a pop flash there. So, again, if you want to do that for yourself, you can just uh, do it in that fashion. But, again, all those steps give the game away a bit. I'm not sure if you can actually... Oh, no, it takes too long to get around the wall. Okay, so that's a uh, pop flash for yourself. You've seen the Molotov as well. The uh, smoke grenade Bondix throws. Because some people will just be like, oh, okay, I'm going to stand here and throw a grenade or where wherever, and it just be messy. Just stand under here in the corner, aim at the middle of this wood, and throw very simple. So that's a safe way to throw nades. And on the opposite side of things, if you find yourself smoked off here, let's say you're setting up for a push from low A, upper A, maybe connector as well, ideally connector as well. But basically you want to stand against this wall, line up uh, this wall with this piece, this line and that crack in the wall, and just basically throw a running flash with one or two steps. Deploying flashback. And you can see how far that goes out. That's going to flash a lot of people. Maybe even some people on the shadow. And again, just with uh, a little step there. You can get yourself going. So, again, a short video. Just showing you a few options there. So, if you are going to play the shadow area, you can get your counter flashes in. You can get your, your smokes in. And you can flash in for teammates as well. <clears throat> One which is... I'd say it's it's a, a high risk one, but if you're going for like a one man A push and you have a good spawn, <clears throat> ideally you want to run around this way because if you're running this way, someone could just charge up the spawn and try and get a fast frag. Um, if you do choose to run this way, 
then you might want to get a second grenade, a second flash, sorry, and uh, do a preemptive one, or better that you have a teammate do it. But anyway, a pop flash, basically, it's not for the stairs area, it's more for, it's not like for here, it's if there are T's hanging around here, so if they're going for a nade setup, and uh, you want to do some rabid aggression, basically, just run, bounce off this wall, and you can see where it lands, so that'll flash everyone in this area. And, uh, but when you come in, you want to peek up here first, and then whatever. But again, that's that's some high-risk stuff. But the main purpose is these flashes and other nades up in this area around here. So that's that for this video. See you next time.